Hi guys and welcome back. So this is my infamous sapodilla. Uh, a little history. This tree is about four years old in the ground. And for the past two years, uh, I have been trying to figure out why it would not give me any fruits. Um, you know, all the flower just, you know, just bloom and, uh, and dried and, uh, and falls off just like this one right here. Uh, this one right here, right? So, so I've been trying to figure that out for the past, you know, for this past season. So guess what? I finally got it to fruit. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Look at this. So this is the biggest one so far on this tree this season. And I am super excited. And I think there are at least another, you know, four or five more on here that I think have already set. Um, I think this this one here, this one here, maybe the next one. So uh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Yeah, there you go. That one. And its neighbor uh, may or may not be. And uh, I think this this one more over here, uh, you know, maybe this guy here, but I'm not too sure. But uh, there are a couple more on here inside the tree um, that I think are now uh, fruits. So I am super excited. So what happened? Why did my tree not fruit for the past two years and what did I do this season for it to set fruit? Well, it's quite simple. It's, like, it's a newbie mistake. What happened was I over water my tree. Over water, just a newbie mistake. So I would come out and look at the ground here and as you can see, it's dry, right? So you think, oh, it needs water. But in reality, the ground under the mulch is actually quite wet. So you know, so I would probably water this tree a few times a week, and that is way, way, way too much. And believe it or not, this season I have not deep watered it once, not even once. Whenever I fertilized this tree, I just did a light water on top of the soil so that um, the, the fertilizer can you know, seep into the soil. And then all the other times, I just spray the leaves because sapodillas, I think you're supposed to water the leaves as well, not just the roots. Um, so for this season, n have not even deep water it once. And I don't think I will at all this season. And look how lush and strong and big and healthy the leaves are. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So last season, the leaves were all yellow and tiny, maybe, uh, maybe the size of my pinky here. And that was because it was even over, over water. It was not able to breathe um, you know and the leaves were yellow not enough chlorophylls to produce food for the tree so therefore it wasn't able to uh, you know to set fruits and maintain it so over water uh, and I think that was it that that was the key um, so as the season was progressing um, I, I was seeing a lot of this right here I, I was seeing I was seeing a lot of you know, buds bloom and then dries off and falls off. So what I did was I came out and hand pollinated them uh, with a brush and then also with, you know, with the squeezing, the squeezing method. And I don't think neither did much to it. Um, the ones that I did it did not set. This, uh, for sure, this one I did not, um, I, I did not do anything and it set. As you can see that is, you know, it's standing straight up. Uh, so I didn't do it. I don't think, you know, I don't think you need to hand pollinate it, you know, just let Mother Nature do its course. Um, so, so yeah. And then another thing was someone recommended that I, uh, that I thin out the leaves. So I came in here, I thin everything inside the tree, everything. Just look at it, everything, everything. And, and I just leave the leaf uh, at the end of the, at the tip here. And then, and that was it. But uh, my tree, it is so healthy and I'm so, <laughs> and I'm so excited for the, but these fruits here, and I think here's and here's another one that I think is 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 set. Look at that. <laughs> so, so yes, I am super super excited. So if your tree is not producing or looking healthy, then you you know maybe check your water level, check the soil, and see if it's wet or not, and uh, and and not make the same mistake that I did. Uh, and hopefully you can have a better tree in a better season than uh, than I do. But uh. You know, four or five um, fr uh, fruits uh, out of maybe I would say three to four hundred buds so far. So, um, so maybe one or one and a half percent uh, 
percent rate. I think that's <laughs> when you think about one percent, that's that's pretty bad, right? But um, but yeah, but given that you know this tree just you know starting to produce this season, you know maybe it'll be better next season. But um, but this is only the first wave of buds. Um, actually two waves for Sapodilla here in SoCal, I believe. Um, so this is the second wave here. So usually for the first two years, they only they only send out buds, you know, in October, uh, September, October right now. Um, but this year, I think the tree was healthy enough to send out buds for, you know, when May or June in the in spring, summer time frame. So that was the first wave. And now the second wave is coming out. So hopefully another five or six uh, fruits for the second wave. And then, uh, you know, I can have 10 plus fruits for this tree this season. And I am super happy. I'm excited. You know, I would still be excited if, if you know, if it's just one fruit because I had none for the past two years. <laughs> you know, but I'm so happy. Just look at this tree. So healthy. Oh, I think this is another one that sat right here. Look at that. The ovary is getting big. Can't see it clear yet, but I, but I think it's one that sat. <laughs> All right, guys, just an update on my sapodilla, letting you know that it has fruits now. And I figured out the issue, over watering. So if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with me and my trees, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a good day.